guys you're welcome back to my channel it's me stephanie brown i am a mom i am a student and today guys we are going to be doing a very nice delicious pork stew and these are the spices i've listed on the screen i would like to tell you that most of the spices that i use are frozen spices for my jang sang for example this is it on the plate beside the white peppers you can see that it is all frozen so that you don't get confused with the spices yes guys the spices are listed on the screen For my spices, I'll first of all, since my pork is frozen, I'll not be adding water. I'll just cut the onions in the pork. Then I'll proceed to grind my first batch of spices, which is garlic, ginger, parsley, and green bell peppers. The green bell peppers are frozen. That's why you don't see a fresh one beside. I do buy them from the market, clean them, and cut them to keep in the fridge so that it's easier for me to use when I want to cook. So after I blend all of those spices, I will just pour it in the pork. Then I will not add any water. I will just put it on the fire so that it can cook. See, Lisa is beside. She wanted me to carry her, but I was so busy. But I had to keep on. And guys, I don't know how you measure salt, but for me, I pour it in my hand so that I can see the quantity. If I just go ahead and pour it, it's either it's going to be over salted or less. So, guys, we are going to put it on the fire and let it cook for 40 minutes. Our preparation for the second batch of spices it is just basically tomatoes the second half of the onion that I kept aside the jansang white pepper that I'm going to blend all together and when the pork must have boiled for 40 minutes I'll just go ahead and pour everything So this is my frozen jansan that I'm cutting to blend with all the other spices so that it can be homogeneous. to blend my white pepper that I will just pour all together with my second batch of fresh spices in the pot. has been boiling for 40 minutes and now I'm going to pour the second batch of the spices in it and I'll let it cook again for 30 more minutes guys 30 minutes please do not add water in your pork when you're cooking if you want that dry yummy stew please don't add extra water in it because you know when you are blending spices you put water so the water from it and if you have kept the meat in the freezer it's going to produce more water so you do not want to add more water because it's going to spoil your stew so just Add the spices, no water, no extra water in it, and let it cook for 30 minutes.
30 minutes is over and my stew is ready so i'm going to add sunflower vegetable oil in it you can put any kind of oil you have is it granite oil if you live in like red oil you can put it inside but i enjoy it more with my vegetable oil two we are going to have cocoa yams and plantain so i'm going to like cook the cocoa yams halfway in first before i add the plantains this is because the plantains do get ready faster than cocoa yams and so i'm going to add like four cups of water in so that i can cook everything together this plate does your heart not melt does your mouth not salivate are you not tempted to cook pork today so yeah guys tell me try this recipe and i'm sure you will not be disappointed guys it was so yummy everybody that ate it 10 on 10 so i encourage you to try this recipe and please give me your feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye